Well, the non-conference portion of the schedule is behind them. Now the Badgers will jump back in to Big Ten play on January 2nd against the Iowa Hawkeyes, 6 o'clock tip here at the Kohl Center. We'll get you caught up on the Badgers and their non-conference portion, what Coach Guard liked the most, and where they still think they can get better. We'll also hear from assistant to the head coach, Kirk Penny, all coming up on today's edition of the Badgers Sports Report. Out to A.J., takes it off the left wing, goes to the goal, slam dunk. A.J. score blows off the left wing for the flush. Crowd against Buchanan, one-on-one, -on -one. spin with baseline to the rim, shot up, no good. Tipped up and in by Carter Gilmore. 14-point lead, Wisconsin. Here's Connor Estegian, inside feed, caught by Crowell, slam dunk. Crowell from Estegian. Bounce pass to Blackwell, four to shoot. Blackwell goes into Crowell, finds Blackwell, will give it go, and he'll take it to the cup and lay it up and in. Now a couple of dribbles. At the wall, rotates the store, baseline left. Here's AJ, goes up, slam, dunk, count it, and a foul. AJ with the punch, and one. And the Wisconsin Badgers knock off third ranked Marquette as they storm the floor at the Cole Center in Madison. This is Wisconsin basketball. And Wall with a steal. Tyler with the pump. Down the lane. Slam dunk. Three on one. Flips the store. Down the lane. And he hammers it with the right hand. With two. Hepper good. Off the glass. Off the glass. He slips it in the crowd. Low on the left. Slam dunk. Another three point hit for Connor Isijan. The Badger Sports Report is presented by UW Health. UW Health Sports Medicine, treating the Badgers, treating you. And is brought to you by the Construction Business Group, Wisconsin operating engineers and respected contractors. BuildingWisconsinTogether.com. And by Gruber Law Offices, a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. When I get around the state and meet people uh, in my job as a senator, inevitably and invariably, uh, people talk about the Kohl Center and that they've been there, what a great facility it is, uh, what a, a good experience they've had at the Kohl facility. It has been just an outstanding success. It's among the best things I've ever done in my life. After a serious accident, you'll need a team to fight for the results you deserve. We're here for you whenever you need us. Gruber Law Offices, proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. I've always been a storyteller. I capture those beautiful moments, things other people miss. My health took an unexpected turn, but my care team put my needs in focus designing solutions to support my ambitions. Now that's just a footnote in my journey, a small part of a story that's still being written. UW Health, remarkable. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at hy V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the hy V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just a price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the hy V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for hy V Perks. It's free and easy. These are operating engineers. They operate top-of-the-line innovative machines and build stuff that matters. And operating engineers are well-paid. They even get paid to train. As an apprentice, you can make $56,000 a year from day one during training. No school loans and no debt. When your training is complete, you'll have a stable career job that is high skill, high tech, and high pay. We need operating engineers right now. Your future can begin today. After a serious accident, you'll need a team to fight for the results you deserve. We're here for you whenever you need us. Gruber Law Offices, proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. 
Well, as college sports fans know, the bowl season is in full swing. And as really good college sports fans know, the basketball season is well underway as well with the Badgers getting ready to jump back into Big Ten only. Big Ten portion of the schedule picking up on January 2nd as the Badgers host the Iowa Hawkeyes. And a few days later, the Nebraska Cornhuskers come to town. And with that, we welcome in head coach Greg Gard. We talked all along about the schedule that you guys played, how these guys have been challenged time and time again. Just give us a summary from, from your seat, Coach. What have you liked the most, and, and what you know, where do you still see this team being able to grow moving forward? Yeah, I think, you know, the main thing, Matt, is I like how they've responded. You know, when, how we started, you know, the first couple of two of the first three games, uh, you know, Tennessee and Providence, and then how we bounce back, and, and we've gotten better. And that's the biggest thing, and that's what you want as a coach, to see a upward trajectory with your team as you go through the season and I think there's so many things we can continue to to get better at uh, I think we made some jumps defensively I think we can you know fine-tune that even more and then obviously offensively the efficiency has been really good I like how we're getting the free throw line pretty consistently and and that'll have to be you know, at that level or better as we go back into league play. And it seems you the ability to bounce back, not just game to game, but within the game. If teams have made runs, you know, if it's Marquette, if it's you know, whoever it is getting close, your guys have an answer and they're able to get separation again. And that's, it's easy to talk about, but it's a little bit more challenging. Yeah, I think that's the maturity of this team, you know, going through, um, you know, what they've gone through and how they've grown from last year and to be able to handle those those runs and they're always going to happen it's always about the response and how do you react to it what's your counter punch back when a team does make a run on us and like I said for the most part I've been really happy with how we've responded and we've gotten better at that than maybe what we were earlier in the year as well it's been interesting talking to a couple of the newer guys on the team if it's a freshman and like John Blackwell if it's a transfer in AJ Storby he's a sophomore he's still the right. young guy but no matter who I talk to among the newer faces they talk about how the older guys bring him in. I, I asked Tyler Wall about the what's the best advice. He says, listen to what's said. You know, don't worry about the tone. Listen to the message. Right. You always say the best teams are player driven. I think you've got one of those teams. We do. You? We do definitely do. And I think we've gotten better in that regard. I think everything that I, I keep talking about how we have improved because I see it, you know, with my eyes, I see it what the analytics tell me on paper, but the leadership has gotten better. I think the the older guys have really taken on their voice. They're they're not afraid to, to speak their piece, and, and our younger guys have done a really good job. I think that's the, the good balance of having younger guys that are really talented that can push the older guys, but yet they'll listen to the older guys. So there's a, there's a good balance there, and our young guys have done a good job of, of uh, listening and learning and continuing to grow. Yeah, those younger guys bring some wow moments, don't they? John Blackwell, with his AJ Store, his ability to get up in the air. Uh, doesn't matter the class rank. You see guys doing that. You know, okay, yeah, you 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 belong here. This yeah. works. They they've all you know, and, and throw Nolan into that mix. Sure. They've all proven that they deserve to be on the floor. So that's always the thing with uh, as a coach, you can talk about who's gonna be in the rotation, but it's the the players have to prove it, and, and nobody sniffs that out faster than another player. <laughs> if, if, it, if a player's really legit, and those three guys have done a great job coming in as as newbies, so to speak, of stepping on in the floor and helping us. You know, speaking of legit, the Big Ten Conference, we all know what that means. The arenas are full. The atmospheres can be really, really raucous. You've already you've gotten through one of those with Michigan State a few weeks ago. Um, last year, there was you know Purdue was able to get some separation. But after that, there wasn't much separation. Right. I, I don't know if that's the aberration or we might see something similar, you think, this year in the Big Ten? I, I, think, I think we're going to see something, you know, similar in terms of I, I wouldn't be surprised if we're all kind of clustered there, including Purdue, because I think as you get into league play, as they've seen already uh, with that, their trip to Northwestern, mm -hmm. that you get in league play, you just you understand each other better. You know each other better, and that's – that's good if you're on this end. It's <laughs> not good if you're on the other end and vice versa. So uh, you'll get defended in a way that teams will know your strengths and they'll try to keep you away from them and teams know your weaknesses and they're going to try to attack those. So, you know, I haven't seen everybody holistically, you know, for large chunks. I've seen bits and pieces other than Michigan State because um, obviously we'll, as we turn the calendar here, we'll jump full throttle into it. But uh, – there's a lot of balance as and you mentioned the road environments and the fans and those things it's hard to win on the road and this is the hardest league in the country to win on the road in uh, just because of the venues that we play in the crowds and and all those things plus we play good teams that are well prepared no doubt and it seems like every year there's a team maybe more than one that 
they're not getting a lot of talk nationally. Well, your team two years ago, right. preseason pick number ten. I, I mean, there's you know, Nebraska has has looked pretty good. I know Creighton got the better of them here recently, but they have been impressive out of conference. Uh, you know, Northwestern obviously what what it did to Purdue at home. It it just seems like it could be the same story, different year. Just who are those teams that are going to rise up? Yeah, you could go through the league. I mean, Illinois has had some really good moments. Indiana's had some really good moments. Ohio State has really, other than their, they went on the road to Penn State and found out the road wasn't too kind. <laughs> so you could just go through the list of, of teams that have shown really well at times and then had some head scratching moments so I think for all of us it's a matter of staying consistent staying healthy and staying consistent is usually the best recipe to to get to the top in the final minute here the, the other thing that we get reminded of that no lead is safe you mentioned Ohio State Penn State Ohio State looked like it had that game salted away until it didn't right. Penn State rallied it's three-point shot it's maybe a lot of things but it's true that there's it's a cliche for a reason right there really is there's no safe lead it is because of you know the shot clock and the pace of play and the th you mentioned the three-point shot and and typically those leads are blown on the road i don't know blown is the right you got to give penn state <laughs> home team rallies yes home team rallies are usually uh uh you know in favor obviously of the home team and it's just it's like again i go back to saying it's difficult to win on the road because there's so much parity i don't, I don't know if there's another sport in college athletics uh, I haven't found one that has more parity than men's basketball, and and we've seen it not only in our league, but you just spread the whole net nationally and see what goes on. Um, no other sport has this type of competition because the transfer portal is a part of it. There's so many players; um, it's not dominated by what the front of the jersey says anymore. The game has evolved and changed, and there's so many good players in a lot of places. Yeah, the unpredictability. It's why we watch, because when we think we have it figured out, we realize maybe we don't. The Badgers hosting Iowa on January 2nd here at the Cole Center. Tip time set for 6 o'clock. We'll have more to come as we continue with the Badgers Sports Report. A bounce to Brad Davis in the left of the circle. Up and inside, flips the forward left wing, darts it through Anderson, high on the right, goes into McGrory, baseline right jump is good, and Walt McGrory has seven dearly needed points for the Badgers in this first half. We believe in education. We believe in public schools. We believe in financial security for Wisconsin public school employees and their families. WEA Member Benefits, proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. WEABenefits.com. My favorite breakfast is Odyssey yogurt. I asked Mommy where it comes from, and she took me to a dairy farm to learn all about milk and, most importantly, cows. Wisconsin cows are definitely the happiest, which means they make the tastiest yogurt. My favorite is blueberry. What's your flavor? Support your local farmers. E-I-E-I -E -I Odyssey. I had big dreams. Then I got sick. UW Health made it their mission to give me a fresh start and a new kidney. Now my dreams are infinite. UW Health. Remarkable. It's always good to welcome back a guy who starred here at the University of Wisconsin. From Badger standout, obviously, Kirk Penny joins us. You talk about shooting. Stevie uh, Crow a couple weeks ago, I think, was talking to reporters after one of the, one of his early games. Maybe, maybe it was after Michigan State when he went four for four from three about just a little tweak that he made with his with his stroke, what he does with the offhand. How much in-season tweaking can you do? I think they always say in a golf swing in the middle of the season, you're not going to change up much. That's more of an out-of-season thing. With a shooter in basketball, how much in the middle of a season can you really adjust? Every coach has a differing opinion on this. My, my opinion is if you've got a shooter who's got a glaring floor, you can address it and work on it. And if you've got a shooter who's really, really not making anything, sometimes it's like, well, let's start working on it now because, you know, we can't get much worse, right? <laughs> um, but also, I think for a good shooter, there are things that they're doing sometimes and sometimes they're not doing and they're missing. And you can start, you start to see a bit of a rhythm of what's going on. And then you can just mention it and be like, oh, well, that really works. That really helps. Wow, I'm just, and I think, you know, Max came up to me after the Marquette 
you know, first half or after the game, I was like, man, that was, it's just something we talked about. It really, really helped. Now, I'm not taking credit for it. It's not. It's all Max. But there is, I think there is some small things that you can just look at and you, as you watch and evaluate day after day after day, you see some consistencies in why things are working and why they're not working. Um, so I, I'm a believer that it, it depends mm -hmm. is probably my answer. Yeah. It depends on the player and it depends on the floor and, and you move on from there. You mentioned consistency. Another word that starts with the letter C, confidence. If, if someone like when Connor sees a shot or two go down, does that in and of itself go a long way of getting him or any shooter who might be you know, struggling a little bit? Just you see a couple times a ball go through the basket where the confidence level rises up, and then all of a sudden that shooter gets hot. Yeah, I mean, it's... That's it, in, in line with consistency. It's the same. It's in. The, it's the same family where, you know, it, being a younger player, it's obviously much easier to be emotional, be fleeting, be, you know, not always trust yourself. But when you've shot the ball, you know, <laughs> ten thousand more times, it's a lot easier to be confident in your shot. You know, which comes with age and experience. Um, but right now, yeah, I mean, we know that. We expect that. And, and what's fantastic about this group as opposed to last year is the depth so on any given night if we feel like one guy's really got something cooking here well let's ride it a little bit you know and, and if on one night one guy's uh, he's not right quite looking the same and it could be he's a bit sick could be something's bothering could be anything that's okay we've got a little bit of depth and we'll, we'll pick you up this week and you'll be back next week and part of that depth final thought a couple of the newer faces aj store john blackwell Give us your impressions, what you really like about those guys, and what gets you excited about them as they continue to evolve as players here. Well, I think they're, um, they've been fantastic. They've been fantastic. And um, I think for a freshman, and I can speak on this personally, coming in here and defending the way John Blackwell has defended, well, I couldn't do that. Now, it's been really impressive for a young man to have that sort of um, physical nature, the uh, feel, just has a really good feel. Um, obviously, his dad played at Illinois. There's some pedigree in there, but he's he's really been fun to coach and, and fun to see. Just take care of the little stuff, and then you know you get, you're buying time early, and you're going to be on that court. And then what's happened is, you know, like that Arizona game, he was just, man, mm -hmm. believes in himself. And then for AJ, you know, you've got a level of, of athleticism that we don't always see around these parts, and it's impressive. And um, it's just for him understanding good shots and bad shots. And I mean, when he's cooking, like he was at Michigan State, I mean, so efficient, and uh, also changed the game for us. And can and has the potential to take the team to new heights if he can get the fundamentals down and truly understand the little things, because he's got the X factor. And then back to consistency, right? Just, but it's consistency, yeah. yeah. And I think yeah. the other thing to go along with consistency is efficiency. Yeah. You know, when I mean, in the ACB, which is a Spanish uh, league, it's looked upon as the best international league in the world after the NBA. The MVP every year is the most efficient player who scores on efficiencies, which means, you know, makes and misses all have way into the points. And I kind of had to learn how to be more efficient. You know, mm -hmm. quantity scorers will struggle there. Quality scores will do. They do well, and everything you do is is efficient. It means every single play, you make the right play on that position, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. It's the pass. It's the it's the creation. It's the finish. It's it's which shot, and um, you know as as you develop as a pro, consistency. You got, got to bring it every night. You'll be consistent because someone's right behind you trying to take your job. And then you've got to be efficient because that's where winning that's where winning's found. Now this guy was consistent and efficient. And that's why he's a UW Athletic Hall of Famer and great to have him back on the staff. He's Kirk Penny. And we'll take a break. More to come as we continue with the Badger Sports Report. After a serious accident, you'll need a team to fight for the results you deserve. We're here for you whenever you need us. Groover Law Offices, proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at hy V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the hy V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just a price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the hy V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, 
Sign up for IV Perks. It's free and easy. WEA member benefits dedicated to helping Wisconsin public school employees become financially secure with programs designed for the education community. Proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics, weabenefits.com. Ready, set, go. Badgers, Longhorns, Gophers, Fighting Illini, Fighting Irish, um, Sooners, uh, Gators, Seminoles, uh, Bulldogs, Crimson Tide, Bruins, Cardinal, uh, Bison, um, Cowboys, uh, Terrapins. Badgers, Huskers, Gophers, uh, Spartans, Wolverines, uh, Fighting Illini, Longhorns, Gators, uh, Volunteers, what else is there? Wildcats, uh, Blue Devils, Ducks, Broncos, Blue Jays, Jayhawks, Longhorns, Gophers, Badgers, Wolverines, uh, Wildcats, Tigers, uh, Huskies, Gold, uh, Hawkeyes, Buckeyes, Fighting Illini, Badgers, Hoosiers, Wolverines, um, Scarlet Knights, uh, Fighting Illini, Hawkeyes, uh, Spartans. Oh, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Bu uh, Buckeyes. Um, I guess I think Tigers. Crimson Tide. Trojans, Spartans, Buffaloes, Wolverines, Buckeyes, Crimson Tide, Tigers, uh, Ducks, uh, Golden Bears, Horn Frogs, Sooners, Longhorns, uh, Mountaineers, um, Cougars, uh, Huskers, uh, Badgers, Illini, Turpins, Gophers, Wolverines, Spartans, Gators, Wildcats, Blue Devils, uh, Arizona Wildcats, uh, Bruins, Huskers, Tigers. Okay, we got the Boilermakers, the Scarlet Knights, we got the Fighting Illini, the Buckeyes, Golden Gophers, Wisconsin Badgers, um, Wildcats, Hawkeyes, um, Badgers, Gophers, Hawkeyes, Spartans, Wolverines, uh, Fighting Illini, Boilermakers, uh, Buckeyes, Nittany Lions, Scarlet Knights, uh, Wildcats, uh, I can go other conferences, Gators, Volunteers, Badgers, Golden Gophers, Wolverines, Buckeyes, Wildcats, Nittany Lions, Hawkeyes, Cornhuskers, Huskies, uh, Golden Bears, Longhorns, Gators, Seminole. big dreams. Then I got sick. UW Health made it their mission to give me a fresh start and a new kidney. Now my dreams are infinite. UW Health. Remarkable. These are operating engineers. They operate top of the line innovative machines and build stuff that matters. And operating engineers are well paid. They even get paid to train. As an apprentice, you can make $56,000 a year from day one during training. No school loans and no debt. When your training is complete, you'll have a stable career job that is high skill, high tech, and high pay. We need operating engineers right now. Your future can begin today. After a serious accident, you'll need a team to fight for the results you deserve. We're here for you whenever you need us. Groover Law Offices, proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. The Badger Sports Report is presented by UW Health. 
UW Health Sports Medicine, treating the Badgers, treating you. And is brought to you by the Construction Business Group, Wisconsin operating engineers and respected contractors. BuildingWisconsinTogether.com and by Gruber Law Offices, a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. A couple of games this week for the Badgers, January 2nd against the Iowa Hawkeyes, and a few nights later, the Nebraska Cornhuskers come to town. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks for watching. This has been a presentation from Learfield. I've always been a storyteller. I capture those beautiful moments, things other people miss. My health took an unexpected turn, but my care team put my needs in focus, designing solutions to support my ambitions. Now that's just a footnote in my journey, a small part of a story that's still being written. UW Health, remarkable. We believe in education. We believe in public schools. At WEA Member Benefits, we believe in helping Wisconsin public school employees and their families achieve their financial goals by providing personal insurance, retirement and investment, and financial planning programs that are designed specifically for the education community. Proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics, weabenefits.com. My favorite breakfast is Odyssey yogurt. I asked mommy where it comes from and she took me to a dairy farm to learn all about milk and most importantly, cows. Wisconsin cows are definitely the happiest, which means they make the tastiest yogurt. My favorite is blueberry. What's your flavor? Support your local farmers. E-I-E-I -E -I Odyssey.